Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to clear cache in CabCut PC to help make your program run a little smoother. Let's check it out. Alright folks, so how you're going to want to clear the cache in CabCut PC is you're actually going to want to do it from this screen and I'll show you why. You're not going to want to do it with the project open. Um, I tried it before and it does not work and this is why. So when you go up to menu and then you go to settings and you click on settings and then it has cache and then you go, it has cache size here and then it has trash right beside it. And then it clearly says, close the project before clearing the cache. So, I mean, you try to click on this trash can and it does not work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to X out of, so I'm going to close the project here and then this is the screen where you want to start from to clear the cache in CabCut PC. So I will click on settings up here on the top right and then I will click on settings again and then same screen just different uh, from a different location. So this gives you the option for the cache of don't delete and then it says auto delete cache from 90 days ago from 60 days ago 30 days ago or 15 days ago so whatever is your personal preference I'm going to go down here where it says cache size it has 292.05 megabytes and then it has a trash can beside it and notice it doesn't say anything about closing projects or anything like that in order to work so I'm just gonna hit the trash can and then it asks me clear cache files it doesn't affect the use of history projects if you need to use stickers effects and other materials you need to download them again so if you've downloaded stickers certain effects and imported them into CapCut PC um, or fonts or anything like that, you may very well need to download them again if you'd like to use them for certain for future projects. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to click OK and then it's going to start removing or clearing the cache here in CapCut PC. What this should do is it should help things run smoother. There's been times where people have been unable to remove their backgrounds like it'll they'll click on remove background and, or cut out and it won't remove the background once it's done processing and that would more than likely be a cache issue so, so that's why you would want to do this uh, along with performance issues if it's not running smoothly if it's lagging uh, things along those lines. Anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.